Hi there! You're watching the Gardens and Graveyards channel. My name is Charisma and today we're meeting in the studio and we're gonna do a little plant crafting but most of it is done. <laughs> so I made these really fun plant hangers this last summer. I was helping a friend. I'll link her Instagram below. She is the Gypsy Weaver, Rebecca, and she has the most amazing creations that she does with retired crab rope. And this last summer, she just like exploded in her business and I helped her um, do a little catch up while she was on vacation. It was super fun. I got to learn how to weave. It was so great. And I got the opportunity to play with some excess rope and I made some plant hangers and I sold a few in her shop, which was super fun. And I got to do some other creative projects with it. But it's just not really my jam of like entering into a retail business. So I had some leftover plant hangers um, hanging out and I recently redid this um, window. I took down curtains. I put up this film, which I love because I can't see my neighbors. They can't see me. It gives a nice like um, backdrop, but it's a little too plain for my personal taste. I am like I have gypsy blood in me, like my family lineage is from Russia and Scotland and we were travelers and entertainers and I love that super layered look in my clothing, in my home and just me watching these videos for you, doing the editing, I'm just like, Gosh, that's so plain behind me and it was driving me crazy. So my view looking this direction is gorgeous. There's so many pictures and wall hangings and plants and colors and layers and textures and I have rugs layered on top of rugs and my couch is velvet and it's got uh, like plush um, throws thrown over it and like all the rich dark beautiful colors like burgundies and royal blues and royal purples and um, deep reds and all that good stuff. Um, and so I just thought it would be really fun to create a beautiful, fun kind of backdrop for these videos and it gives me an excuse to add even more plants into my home. So what I've done is I've gathered some plants from around the house that were a little bit on the struggle bus and they need to have better lighting. They are trailing, almost all of them are trailing. And I've gathered the planters that I made and I'm going to add two other planters that just to kind of change up the level and the look of how it looks back there. Because I, I just like that kind of... Um, funky layered look. So, um, but I will kind of play around with what planter is going to go what place because each one's a little bit different. Um, so just as an example here, we have this one. It's kind of crazy because it's been in a tote waiting to be used. So what I've done is I used recycled crab rope and I've weaved basically a little basket. And then I've just left tails and some decoration up here. I've added a ring to the top and a planter will sit right on top of this basket piece. So it kind of has that jellyfish wild look. Um, it has a little bit of a um, what were they called? Macrame look. Um, but it's unto its own self, right? So anyway, uh, then the other thing that I did is I picked up some shower curtain hooks. These are the Better Home and Gardens shower hooks. I've put six up there for now. Um, I have six planters that I'm going to use today. We may add more. We may remove, I don't know. So let's just kind of put them up there and see how we like them. Um, let's see. Oh, I can't. All right. I'm going to need a 
step stool. And I also picked up a couple of these wire baskets from the Dollar Tree. They're definitely a little bit flimsy. I think they're ultimately designed to put like a coconut core uh, liner in. I just thought it might be interesting. them in here. So let's take a look at that. I think that'll be fine for now. I'm just gonna leave it and we might play around with it later. Um, okay, so as far as plants go, let's move these out of the way. <clears throat> I have uh, some plants here. Okay, so I've got, these two are both the same and they are struggling so bad. And then I have another one over there that's huge. So what I'm actually going to do is um, clean that one up and transplant it into one or both of these containers. But I know that this container fits right inside here. And then we'll let the plant kind of trail over. I like that. And these two are the same. They neither one of them have been getting very good light. These are philodendrons. This one is definitely far too large for this little guy. So maybe this one. That's also a little too tall. This one. Really cute in there. Okay, so just need to find a plant for that one. It's too big. This one is a prayer plant, one of our many prayer plants. It, do, it has drainage, but no drip dish. And I've been using this crystal bowl as the drip dish. Happens to fit 
perfectly inside of the basket. So, just gonna put this inside there. Okay. And more right here. I wonder if Let's just bring you in a little bit closer. So we have, sorry about the shadow. Uh, we have the philodendron here. I never remember the name of this plant. Most of it is dead. It looks like this. Um, I'll get the name up on the screen. Then we have this pothos. And it is a variegated one. It has these fun like splotches of variegation on it um, as they get a little bit older. These are all very young leaves. So, but you'll see more and more variegation as it gets older. Let's see like little pieces. This is a prayer plant and um, these guys propagate so easy. This one's empty. And then this is another pothos and this is a variegated one. So, oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, really, I think that's gonna be really fun. While I have you on here, this is the other prayer plant that's in the house. You can see it's evening out. It's, that's my window, it's black outside. Um, there is artificial light in here and there is artificial light in my dining room, which is why this one is all open because it just came out of the dining room. <clears throat> but before I came in here, it was kind of dark and this is really close to the window. So you can see how the leaves fold up in prayer at nighttime. And you can see these ones have folded in towards the center of the plant. And they'll, they'll just get tighter and tighter into the plant um, as there's less and less light. This plant in the middle of the night is like completely folded up like that. So fun. This is a really fun plant to get for for beginner indoor plant lovers. All right, there we go. Well, we'll keep playing with maybe some of the different ideas of different plants, but I definitely love having a background behind me now. That feels really good. It feels much more me. <laughs> and let me see. That came from my living room, which means there's a spot for my living room to have a new plant. That needs a plant, so I get to find a plant for that one. This was an extra plant in my kitchen that kept just floating around, so now it has a home. This, these are babies actually in water. This container is just a, a vase with water in it, with cuttings. 
So I'll put this plant in some soil, but um, this is just sitting on top of my refrigerator. That's where I keep my cuttings is right on top of the refrigerator. It kind of keeps it a little bit uh, warm, the water a little bit warm. But this will go in some soil. This will get more of the plant that's in there, but just more um, as I clean that big one up. And I'll show that to you in a video because it's actually, um, I'm taking apart a whole pot over there that has two plants in it that are just like huge and I need to do something different with them. So one of those will end up, um, a lot of it will be in this container. And then that one is a little odd on scale. So we might do something different um, as far as the container goes, but I do think that the plant's gonna really love it there. That plant, I recently put on the window seal, but it was sitting up um, on top of my hutch and it was just above the window. So it wasn't getting any light. It was getting like a little bit of bright indirect kind of light, but it wasn't actually getting light. So this just brings it down from there like a foot and now it's in like full window view. So I think the plant will be happy. I'm just not like super happy about the vessel. So I might play with that a little bit, but overall really fun. Um, and then, you know, there's space up there that I could do something different with. There's space in my living room, space in my dining room. Um, I could do more cuttings on top of my refrigerator. It's great. Everybody has a home now. And I have an excuse for at least two new plants to come into the house. <laughs> that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're celebrating your life. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.